Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum and the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. So we've been following the Ether valuation for a while. For the last year or so, we followed these, these micro bubbles that form against Bitcoin. And one of the things we've said as well is that we know that when looking back in history out of the five years, the turnaround point comes between mid-December and mid-January. Now, that's just when it starts. It could extend for, for months after that. But we know that the historically speaking, three of the times it actually occurred in January, not December. So let's go back and look. So we did a whole video on this, but we're just gonna do a quick recap. This was January here. The move started in January. The next year, the move started in January, um, right here. The next year, it started in December. The following year here, it also started in December. So two zero or two circles, two X's. So if it's an X, it means that it started in December. If it's a circle, it means it started in January. And then this past year, it started in January. So historically speaking, three of the five years, so 60% of the time, the move of Ethereum against Bitcoin did not start until January. That's just simply that's just simply when it happened. And remember, the move can extend for months if it if it actually if we do get it right. There's no guarantee that we get it. There's no free lunch. Of course, we'll look back and and in a few months and see how it played out. But if you if you just look back, three of the times it started in January, two of the times it started in December, and then some of these moves extended for for a few months. Right, this one's extended until early March before coming back down, having a macro downtrend back until the next pump. I mean, there was an intermediate pump in here. Um, and then this one extended until March before coming back down and then ultimately extending out through the summer. The following extended through late January. The one after that extended until the very beginning of January. And then the one this past year extended until February. So. We know that historically speaking, the move did not start until mid-December to mid-January. We've just got into mid-December at this point. I also wanna show you guys one other thing really quick. We're gonna look at the relative strength index. We're gonna look at it on the daily scale. Uh, let me quickly go ahead and change this so it shows up a little bit better on your guys' screen because I know it's hard to see these colors. So one of the things I just wanna remind you guys of is you know, if you go back and look at every December, this first December, the RSI on the daily time frame reached around 31. In the following December, it went all the way down to around 23. In the following December, it went down to 24. In the following December, it went down to 25. In the following December, it went down to 21. And guess where we are now? Right now, we are at 32. We're at 32. So if we were to draw a line, so the highest one, so the, the, the highest point that we came before a turnaround point was around 31. And if we were to draw a line across, that's almost where we are now. Almost. We're not, we're not quite there. You can see that we're slightly above it. However, we also note that many of the turnaround points did not come until a lower level. So there was another, a couple years we had a turnaround point um, around this level right here. So you can see in December of 2017 and December of 2018, we had the turnaround point at around a daily RSI of 24. And then there was 2019 where the daily RSI reached around 20 before turning around. Also here, it was also 24. So we had three times where it was around 24, once around 31, and then once around 20. So right now, we are around 32. Again, you know, I don't think anyone is going to be able to accurately say exactly when the turnaround point is going to come, but just note that historically speaking, every single year in December, the daily RSI of Ethereum against Bitcoin went to between the 20 to 31 range before turning around. Right now we're at 32. A couple days ago, just to get an idea, we were at 34. 
So it is dropping relatively quickly. You can see how quickly it's dropping. A few more days of continued movement like this, right, where Bitcoin goes up and then it comes back down. And whether, you know, when it's going up, Ethereum, Bitcoin's dropping. And when it's coming down, Ethereum, Bitcoin's dropping. Give it a few more days of that. And we should be, you know, well within this region. Okay, we should be well within this region. Note that the low that we had in November, um, just a few uh, a few weeks ago, was around 25. So we're not too far away from that. Now, I understand that a lot of people want to see the move happen now. This is yet another gentle reminder. I do follow Ethereum a lot, and I love Ethereum. It's my number two, but at the end of the day, I have more Bitcoin than Ethereum. You guys see why. I mean, when the market moves, it's, it's really nice to have a lot of that Bitcoin because it just simply leaves everything else behind. Um, now, hopefully we'll, see, hopefully we'll see Ethereum make its move against Bitcoin. But remember, if history is any indication, the probability of it happening in January is slightly higher than it happening in December. And if you think about it, we're only about two weeks away, less than two weeks away from January anyways. Um, I would say that we would want to see a turnaround point again within the next four weeks or so, maybe even three and a half weeks at this point, if we're gonna if we're gonna repeat history. If not, and and it turns out there's not a turnaround point in in January, then this would be the first year that it has not turned around again. I'm presenting the data. I'm showing you what the data says, what it has previously done. It worked out last year, but remember when we we talked about it a lot last year, but the move last year did not come until the first week of January and not a moment before. In fact, it bled all the way down into the very end of December and then getting into January, that's when Ethereum finally made its move. So I would say the best thing, you know, if you if you are holding Ethereum, this is not financial advice, of course, but remember the move has historically not come oftentimes until early January, a couple times it came in December. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel in the description below. Also, you can check out the premium list, which you can find a link to in the, descri in the description below. Uh, you can sign up and get access to weekly reports, weekly videos, the risk dashboard, the trading view indicators, the Telegram alerts channel, and a few other things. Make sure you guys check that out before the prices go back up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe. Let's go for 80,000 subscribers. And I will see you next time. Bye.